So if you've been around any Boy Scouts, you know there's a lot of knots you can tie to secure your horse. But the main thing that's important to me when tying up a horse properly is the length that they're tied and that it's a safe knot that the horse can't undo with his mouth and that will be easily untied if the horse does pull back. When tying on a ring like this, I like the height of this ring because it keeps the rope above the horse's head for security and so that they can't have any chance of getting a front foot caught. The other reason I like the ring is I can take the loop of the rope through the ring without having to pull the entire lead rope through, just for ease and simplicity. I use a modified bowline. Uh, it's just a knot that I, I got comfortable with and that's easy for me to tie. Uh, start a bowline like you normally would, but rather than pulling the tail of the rope through, I just finish it with an additional loop and then make sure that that knot comes down tight. Now that it's secure, my horse can pull back or something happens and that rope becomes tight. It's easily untied just by creating slack. The other piece is I'll tuck the tail of the rope through that final loop so that if my horse is chewing on that lead rope, the likeliness of him being able to untie it is very small. So the length of rope that's tied between the wall and my horse is as, as a, a appropriate length for this situation. He can't get his front feet over it, and it's not so long that he's going to be able to wander while I'm working around him. When, I'm tie and when it's time to untie him, I can just pull the tail, give it a little tug so that both my loops come through, and then it comes out of the ring free and clear.